AES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names, web hosting services, new customers save 25% by using promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. The CES coverage is sponsored by Luxor, Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. You can go over to TPN.TV for the Luxor advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 and get a free trial at audiblepodcast.com forward slash CES. It's Todd Levy. How are you guys doing? Good. Pretty good. I was going to say... I, as a Las Vegas local, too, I mean, I was hanging out at Luxor last night, you know, at the Cat House, entertaining some people. Oh, so. right. oh okay. Mm-hmm. So, it so is. even the locals go to Luxor. I have, yeah. I have yet to go to the Cat House, so I haven't had that chance. Maybe tonight. We'll see, what, we'll see what happens. It's fun. So. Well, since we, we got you here, Todd Levy, yeah. you're with Bloomworks, right? Bloom Worlds. Bloom, Bloom Worlds. Worlds yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. And tell us about uh, what, what that's all about. Uh, so my name's Todd Levy, and Bloom Worlds is a family-friendly app store uh, on the Android operating system, and we're going to help okay. parents find safe, appropriate, secure apps for their children by utilizing our vetted submission process. So, so how do people uh, go about doing? They go to what? Bloomworlds.com. Yes, we're we we have a preview of the site up right now. It's not live. We're probably have another month to launch. Mm-hmm. Right now, we're recruiting developers and also parents to sit on our advisory board. So, okay, yeah. Uh, so the, the, the basically, the what, what do you expect to have happen once once it's it goes into full blown uh, production? Well, we're gonna have an uh, an option for Android users um, to want who don't want to go through 150, 200,000 applications in their in the in the market and some mm-hmm. of the other alternative ones, and it would be. You know, high quality apps. That's what we're looking for, and, 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 and also reviewed apps too. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not just review, not just user reviews. We want to kind of bring reviews up to another level, and not the status quo like plus one, like this app's really fun or this app sucks kind mm-hmm. of thing. We're going to actually have a, a, a group of parents write testimonials and really have a value add, mm-hmm. and um, so that you know the next time parents are looking, you know, for apps. They'll know it was at least reviewed by somebody else ahead of them, and there's some put some thought into it, played around with it, and just uh, to know what to expect. Yeah, really. Yeah, to give that peace of mind, you know. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So we're 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 pulling up, uh, yeah, bloomworlds.net as we speak here. Yeah. Um, pretty, uh, pretty straight up for a for a beta site. So they yeah. have uh, have some options here. Yeah. That you can choose from. Yeah. Right now we just have. Um, yeah, there's some forms where your developers can sign up, parents can sign up, um, and if you want to be a beta user, we have a bunch of uh, interest so far, so it's yeah. been it's pretty, yeah. going pretty well. So, so what is the business model? Do they do developers have to pay to be part of your? No, there's no, no they don't have to pay, but there is a revenue share. Um, similar, you know, you know, Apple kind of came out a few years ago with their App Store and that that 70-30 split, and it's kind of become industry standard on a lot of things, mm-hmm. you know, and and. Um, we're gonna not follow that. Actually, we're going to. We'll have a standard option if pe- if the developers want to do that. But we'll also have a way if developers want to be featured or promoted, we can w- work the, the split differently. Mm-hmm. Or if they want to be uh, an exclusive app to our store, there'll be different terms. Or if you want to be exclusive to a certain app category, we mm-hmm. can have things like that. So we don't really want 20 flashlight apps or 20 barcode scanners. We want to mm-hmm. have. The one that's going to be the official Bloom Worlds app, okay. and it just have keep the quality really high and kind of handpick it, so you don't have to go through tens of thousands of apps. You know, it's going to be like I said, high quality and like low inventory. So um, who actually does do the picking? Because that's one of the things that they talk about on the uh, uh, iTunes store is the problem that you just don't. Sure. You know, it, some things make it, some things don't. Yeah. So absolutely. You know, it's not just picking. Like we're going out and kind of hand selecting. Um, developers that we want to launch with and mm-hmm. presenting them the opportunity to reach this audience, which is you know parents and, and, and children. So we have our, our niche content. And then, um, so you you're know, pretty much qualifying with the content. We, we qualify sure with the content, and then we also have a security check. We'll, uh, um, we're going to uh, send 
their APK file from the developers up to, we have a cloud-based solution where we could scan the apps for antivirus, spyware, malware, to make sure the security there is good. Mm -hmm. And then we have to add the human element, which is the parent's creation. Do you also look at, worry about permissions and stuff? We look at permission controls, yeah. Make sure that you're not giving yeah, like, out the information. Why is this little basketball game for my kid accessing text messages. Yes, yeah, we're going to we're going to question. Location, yes. Yeah. We're going to we're going to question those things. Yes. Okay. No one's doing it right now, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And and so what about the uh, the download process cuz usually you know you have to do something special on your phone yeah. in order to actually download from a site that's not part of the Yeah, sure. We're going to have some over the air installation options and probably have some QR code from as people start getting more into it, mm -hmm. you know, and it's going to be web-based, but we will have a, a mobile app too, so you'll be able to browse and do some purchasing. So actually have a mobile app that will be in the Android marketplace? Well, you know, Google's terms, they say anything that competes with them can't really be on there, but they also, you know, there's some blatant IP infringement things on the Google market that they don't enforce either, so we'll see how long, you know, we'll see how it works. Yeah, mm -hmm. see if it works, so. All right, so bloomworlds.com. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. All right. Okay, Thanks great. Thanks Thank you very much, good. Jeff. Good, and good luck. Tom, I Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks, Thank guys. Great stuff from the Android market uh, yeah. with bloomworlds.com. Uh, well, that really helps because Android is kind of not as organized as you know, the iTunes store is. Yeah. So I think it really is good. All right. What do we got next?